Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to work on the kettlebell flat back pullover sit-up. This exercise goes into a big family of exercises, all focused on getting up off of the ground. Getting up off of the ground is a basic human skill, and you should be very, very good at it. Oftentimes when people work out with conventional training programs, they never fully build get-ups. They do sit-ups, or they do some version of abs on the ground, but abs on the ground is always supposed to be part of getting up off of the ground. A crunch is a version of a sit-up. A sit-up is half of a get-up. The kettlebell get-up helps people eventually drag themselves to their feet so that they can get up in a couple of different ways. This is part of a deck squat and a no-momentum deck squat, or getting up with your back starting flat on the ground. We usually get down to the ground by putting one knee all the way down on the ground. Find the ground with your hand. Sit all the way down, avoiding all dogs and or small children. Sit down flat on the ground, two sits bones on the ground. Draw your feet up close to your body. Rolling a kettlebell into position is usually a good way to get it there if something was in your way when you got down to the ground. The kettlebell should start generally between your ankles. When we pick the weight up, our thumbs will point towards the sky, reach down, tip the kettlebell towards you, and put the heavy part of the kettlebell on top. In previous videos, we had worked on the pullover, or part of the pullover sit-up. Let's review that quickly, and then we'll add in the sit-up. Get down to the ground, drift back, lower back touches the ground first, kettlebell goes back, directly behind your head. Elbows together, pull over, flat back, pull over. You are resisting lifting your rib cage up and letting there be a gap between your lower back and the floor. Lower back is on the ground the entire time. Let's add a step to that. Flat back, pull over, sit up. Engage the abs, drive the rib cage down, pull over, sit up. The kettlebell will actually help you do the sit-up. At the top, extend your spine, get as tall as possible. When you get down, round the spine, get closer to the ground, elbow towards hip bone, go down. Do not let your head touch the ground, keep your core engaged. Pull over, sit up, extend. Flex the spine to go down, get down, pull over, sit up, extend. Get back, pull over, sit up, and extend. When you have completed your reps, you should be able to set the kettlebell down in front of you and stand it all the way back up. You see this exercise a lot in things like CrossFit. It tends to be done with a plate, an Olympic plate, instead of with a kettlebell. Kettlebells tend to cause people to have good technique on accident because when you flip the kettlebell over, it is a lever. From the top of your hand to the top of the bell, we have about seven inches, but the weight is not in the center of your hand like it is with a plate. So if you end up in the wrong spot, the kettlebell tends to let you know because it becomes hard to hold. Kettlebell too far out, kettlebell too far back, kettlebell just right. The other exercises in this series are the flat back pullover, just the bottom where you're essentially holding a crunch and the weight is moving. Then this, the flat back pullover sit up, that lean back press, and then we will build up and up and up with this exercise until you are getting all the way up off of the ground. Getting up off of the ground is a basic human skill. You should practice it two times a week for the rest of your life in some way. There are about nine basic get-ups that you should be really good at. The Turkish get-up, getting up with a weight overhead. The deck squat, the no momentum deck squat, and then a bunch of versions of rotating get-ups. Burpees are a get-up, side set-throughs are a get-up. There are judo get-ups, there are krav get-ups, there are tons of get-ups. You could build an entire fitness program just off of breaking get-ups down into small pieces and practicing all of those pieces individually, starting with lightweights and building to heavyweights. When you lose an ability to get up off of the ground quickly and effectively, you're essentially in the aging process and your quality of life is probably going downhill. By maintaining an ability to get up off of the ground quickly and efficiently forever, you are making everything about your life better.